Ladies and gentlemen, please relax and welcome Britain's top light entertainer and singer, Vic Reeves. <laughs> Lovely Tamil rebel for bringing me on tonight. <laughs> Absolutely no problem. Well, and apparently you've uh, landed yourself a position as taken over from Paul Collins on Brookside, is that right? Well, I don't want to be premature, but I think I've landed the part, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lion Tabor Anchor Band Group Sex Handbag. <laughs> Send for yourself, sir. Good luck with you, anyway. And, ladies and gentlemen, what a treat we've got for you tonight. Are you all sitting randomly? Yeah! Bye, George! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> We've got some taste for bar jingle, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the quality of that sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I was out the back earlier. You wouldn't believe what's going on round the back. There was there was Van Morrison wearing quite a smart boob tube, man. <laughs> and he was climbing up this ladder with a bucket of piping hot hummus. And there was there was uh, what's the, what's that woman's name? Dame Marietta, Marietta Higgs, is it? She was on the roof, she said. <laughs> Come on, Van Man, I'm starving! And I'm not <laughs> last time, about a month ago. Anyway, later on, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a tramp with uh, a Billy Idol haircut, and he's going to be pouring some cider onto a, a little partridge, and then he's going to <laughs> climb into a zither and go to sleep. And we've got a judge with a grudge and a little bit of fudge, and a wary canary with a belly full of bolts. <laughs> it's all later on tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But without any further ado, let's meet Judge Pickles. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just try that me, this meat paste. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really? That's mm. what I try. Mmm. Isn't that mm. beautiful? Oh, fantastic. What, what's, the, um, what's the brand name? That's Reeves and Mortimer meat products. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? That's Reeves and Mortimer meat products. Oh, very good indeed. It's Thanks gorgeous, isn't it? It's fabulous, isn't think it? man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we are <laughs> with uh, Judge Pickles. <laughs> Only joking. Or am I? <laughs> no, of course, it's Les. And I think we found out over the weeks that uh, that Les has a terrible, terrible fear of charge. But, blimey, Les, what's that? You, I see what he's doing now. You've been reading something, Les, haven't you? Say, the tin of tomatoes counteracts the effect of the charge. <laughs> he's done well. But what Les doesn't know is that little fluffy fiddlesticks, the puppy, negates the effect of said tomatoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Les, I'm sorry, Les, I won't do that again. But, you know, uh, Les, fact number one, really, proper tonight, is that Les really can't resist the taste of a juicy ripe mango. And uh, <laughs> due to uh, high winds over Norway, there isn't any mangoes available at the moment, but a little bit of a surprise there, maybe for Les, that right beneath this very stage, is the Lord Mayor of London's own mango supply. It's incredible. Les, it's not for you, it's not for you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's all start to vibrate rather gently from side to side. Can we do that with a bit of vibration? <laughs> and meet the man with the stick! <laughs> What do we cry when we meet a man with a stick? What's on the end of the stick? By George, we do. <laughs> and now you're going to reveal what's on the end of your stick? Not quite yet. Doesn't surprise me. Come and lay your stick down, Addies. Come and join me. Just idle for a while with me. Let's have a look at that lovely... Yes, hey, Les, look at the not your mangoes. Come and let's have a look at that lovely helmet. What have we got up here? A woman claiming she can't live without Harry Nielsen. <laughs> um, a spoilt child laughing at his mother's mouth all set. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look at the back, shall we? <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jingo, it's in Technicolor. <laughs> and what have we got here? 
<laughs> well, it is the last show. <laughs> Mike Yarwood, French kissing a rare dime. Look at the size of that one. Well, there we are, man with a stick. You really... Uh, last week you were a bit sad, weren't you? I was a bit sad, but I've cheered right up now. Oh, well, anyway, I've cheered right up now, lucky fella. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, Terry did a works party for us, you see. Oh, did he really? Oh, it was such a brilliant day. It was fabulous. Yeah, you know, we finished it. work, he paid for it all. Like, well, I pay my money straight into his account. It's some arrangement he's got. <laughs> and then he cleaned, he cleaned off a bit of the interest money and he laid on a really brilliant spread. I stayed behind for about half an hour. I had to tip back some of the stains off the walls, you know, that were in the office. Anyway, I got to the party for the second half. And he let me... I served some drinks for Terry and the lasses. Then Terry put me on the stage. And I got me something top off. And sh I showed all the lasses this birthmark I've got. It's, it's a bit airy, like, the birthmark. So... <laughs> What? What? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, well, you're saying something. I didn't... I was... Rick, but I've you. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you have, as a matter of fact. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Wait a minute. That shirt's wet, isn't it? Oh, you had to mention it, didn't you? No, you had to put that wet shirt no, it's on. it's a I... simple thing. You had to mention it. You wouldn't let it lie, would you? <laughs> I'm you sorry. You should have let that land. I'm you sorry. should have let that land. But it's wet. <laughs> I own, it's only because I care about it. make it a rash. No! <laughs> it could get something to happen to you. Anyway, yes, recently it's been Father's Day. <laughs> and um, I don't know about you, if anybody forgot, then it's an ideal way to live, uh, well, give a nice Father's Day gift. And what about a gift that'll liven up Father, or Father, any day of the week, and not only just, just Father's Day? I've come up with a bit of an idea here. You take Father's old briefcase there and liven it up by att attaching a number of items there to it. And I've done that. It's dull, it's lifeless, it's brown, and, you know, it it'll bring not only a smile to his face, but to passers-by as he's uh, walking to work by attaching a few items. And, Les, Les could you take that off me? <laughs> it's, a it's a simple idea. You could do it yourself, you know. And it really will go down the street. <laughs> as he's cycling to work. <laughs> Are you in oh, there, Captain right. Nelson? <laughs> what? Hey, Vic, could I have a couple of words, please? Yeah, um, rifle and marzipan, how's that? I <laughs> don't I don't know about you, but I think it's about time that the... F you know, we started creating a family atmosphere around the piano again. These days, all we seem to do is create a family atmosphere around a hideous accident in the street gathering around <laughs> That doesn't create a family at What? What are you doing there, then? I'm just writing down those two words. I never want to forget them, but... Oh, you never, do ever, that. Anyway. Hope I, I never tell, forget them. I tell you what, that meat product you, you gave me earlier on was really quite tasty. Gorgeous, what was it? the brand name again? It's Reeves and Morton. Morton. <laughs> Very good indeed. Very good indeed. Look well, at the quality of that sausage. <laughs> That's Reeves and Morton. Hey, we're all having the Reeves and Morton meat cluster around the back there. You want to join us? Sounds tasty, yeah. I can't oh, resist it's that. Beautiful. But I hadn't heard of the brand until Oh, but uh, it's <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> Tinker's rucksack. We are, and you may remember us from rambling some time ago. Those were the rambling days, but today we're in the garden. You see, it's not all walking, and you know it's not all gardening. It's not all gardening. Now I've come up with an idea in the garden. You might like to try it yourself. It's a lovely idea for it the makes gardening much more fun, Alan. Yes, I've, if you want to make a shoe for a little child, why not take this parsnip and hollow it out and you make an idea, little children's shoe, then. Oh, that'd be lovely for the party, Alan. You, you well wear that done, one, well you? done, Alan. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> what else have we got? You've got a balancing trick on. Yes, I like to balance my carrots. Uh, and uh, you know, I'll just uh, point this out, Alan. The potting shed reminds me of that little incident with you and my wife. <laughs> what, our little potting shed? Yes, you, you're the incident with the sparrow. Why don't you tell oh, me that? Don't mind telling. Oh, it's tell a it. funny Good. little story. I'll balance the carrots. You tell the story. Okay. Well, it goes something like this, as I say to Alan when I'm in the pub. <laughs> what happened was was. 
We found a little sparrow frozen on the lawn, and me and Alan's wife's Mary, Alan's wife Mary, I should say, Alan, we took the little sparrow into the shed and I warmed it against uh, Mary's brassiere. It's true. But you wouldn't believe it because at that point Alan came into the shed. It's quite I didn't know, as Elvis Presley might have said, I was a bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Alan, that's oh, typical God, Alan. Is, isn't it? But of course, the bird had flown away by the time Alan came. And you know, <laughs> well, it's not all gardening, it's is it? Not all, it's not with you, Alan, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you've got a little impression that you oh, like to do, right, you? Yes. you guess, Alan. You guess I do, as we say, down the pub. All right, then. Uh, Who's that then? Uh, it's Jazzy B. It's Jazzy B. Of course it is. We're so clever with those words, aren't we, Alan? Oh, look at the speed of that. <laughs> now then, you know. <laughs> It was, it's a bit like Concord, doesn't it? A bit like Concord. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little joke we have in the garden. Sometimes. What's Concord? It's not all gardening, is it? No, of course. And the Harvest Festival's coming up, and we're going to do a little bit of nativity in the garden. Now, you can do this in, in your, on your kitchen shelf. Alan, or... you are going to do a bit of nativity. I'll do it, yes. <laughs> now then, difference. you take your vegetable and you turn it into a little nativity scene. For instance, this could be the shed that Jesus was born in. And why not use the, uh, this, this carrot here as, uh, as the uh, Madonna there? She can be stood there. What about these... Three, t well, we've got three wise men there coming up there and a couple of lowing cattle there, just lowing over the edge. Can Alan, you see them lowing? Alan, <laughs> oh, Alan. Alan, Alan, it's ever so good. Why don't you use that as a standard oh, lamp? Oh, that's a good idea. A standard lamp can go there. And why don't you use this little fella as a midi system? Oh, what a good idea, Alan, but... <laughs> They didn't have... Carry on, do the fit, fit front of space, right, as I yes. call it. Well, now then, this is my favourite piece, ladies and gentlemen. A little plum, that's a baby Jesus, it's a it's sleeping naturally. <laughs> and can you see that? It really does look like a little... <laughs> <laughs> you see, oh, we've, spoiled it. we've spilled it there, but we don't care, cos we're in the garden. Of course we are. And there are no pressures on us either. <laughs> That's another way we pass the time in the garden. <laughs> with Alan beating me quite severely across the ground. But tides come and go, seasons change, and you know Alan can't resist. <laughs> Alan can't resist writing a little song about the garden, and he's going to. No, I've out. written this song. Yes, it goes so like this. Kick it, Al. <laughs> See the little cauliflower talking to the cucumber <laughs> about the olden days when there were peas. <laughs> a robin perches on a spade. The wood, the sunshine through a woodland glade, and in the treetops grows a tiny swede. And I think that I love you, and I think that I care, though I am but a gardener. I love you, I swear! I love you, I swear! I love you! The fool of both of us doing that. What were you doing with those antics with the pears and everything? I just got a bit excited. It's such Alan. a beautiful song. I got excited. Alan, what are my wife's wife fronts doing in here? <laughs> Never you mind that. You can apologise to these good people. Come on. <laughs> Come on, spear it out. I do apologise, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for making a fool of you all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, take this proprietary brand of meat. Okay. Right. No, I mean EG. That proprietary brand of meat. It's beautifully packaged in that. That's but right. you know it's nearly 50% fat. 50%? Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure it's 50% fat. Can you believe that? Mm. That's why I changed to Reeves and Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no buts. They're the tenderest cuts. That's yep. right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Reeves and Mortimer. Reeves and Mortimer. Reeves and Mortimer. Back on, are we? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, rice, wheat, cress, partridge, handbag, fishnet. That's what I'd call a group if I started one. <laughs> but it's time now, ladies and gentlemen, to take a trip to Novelty Island. <laughs> Les, Les, clear off. Be gone. Act one at, Les, at uh, Novelty Island. Tonight is David Rowles. He's a pig farmer and a part-time gymnast. His hairstyle answers the call of the wild and he got the idea after he startled Nicholas Witchell off the news. So, there we are. And tonight you'll be, you'll be posing the question, bra or pond? That's <laughs> right there, young'un, although I prefer to think of it as the enigma bra or pond. Really? And That's right. Be... I've just been on tour of Algeria recently I where I really? posed the conundrum, corset or coracle, and gusset or stately home. <laughs> but back to the night, bra or 
pond. Pond. OK, let's, let's find out if that bra can be a pond. <laughs> Fella then, eh? Oh dear. <laughs> well, oh dear you, posed, you posed that one then. Well, <laughs> well, you? It wasn't right, a bar right, or was right. it a pond? <laughs> I'll leave it up to we'll you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, now then, let's see who's act number two at Novel Challenge tonight. It's. Oh, no! <laughs> no, no! Graham Lister, back again. And what <laughs> terrible, dreary act have you got with you this week? Are you quite finished, Reeves? <laughs> oh, Reeves, you smell a lavender. You're a right fop, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're dressed as? Essence of rye bean, eh? <laughs> I, I seek to entertain, Reeves, unlike yourself. I'm not one of your fopping cohorts. <laughs> but tonight, <laughs> tonight I present a refreshing cool glass of orange juice. And what are you going to do with it, then? Reeves, this is the act. Can you not appreciate something? <laughs> you can't separate? come on here with a jug of orange juice and tell me that that's an act. Reeves, I just came Get out! Lister, get out of here! I told you before, I know... Clear off! I know doctors and dentists. <laughs> hey, Reeves, Reeves, I have a couple of stamps in my pocket that are slightly damp. That's... that's not an act either! Get out! <laughs> Reeves, I've got two peanuts that weigh exactly... No, I wouldn't... <laughs> Number three at Novelty Line tonight is Judith Grant, aged 40. She is a retired, uh, sorry, a retired postman's daughter, and she hails from St Prontipint in the Arndale. <laughs> Judith, what the devil are you up to tonight? I will perform I Dream of Parmesan. Good Lord. <laughs> I will doze off, at which point the Parmesan will fall on my nose. It will awaken Smokey the maggot. <laughs> and I shall then sing him a lullaby. Good heavens. <laughs> Off we go, then. Let's have a look at I Dream of Parmesan. <laughs> For I am the Lord of the Dance, said he. Thank you very much, Judith. That was a treat. <laughs> very poor. And we've got a bit of a special treat for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One of the acts who was on the very first novelty island, back contrary to popular demand, a big round of applause for Mr Wobbly Hand. <laughs> Now then, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Novelty Island. Some of the turns at Novelty Island there tonight. <laughs> Les Man, clear off! It's the Lord Mayor of London. It's not yours, not yours. Well, now we've had, uh, Charles has been painting the acts during the course of the Novelty Islands, and I think we can have a look at them now. And we've got a special judge who's going to be looking at the paintings here tonight. And it's Mick Hucknell's hair, which we've had stuck on the end of an oar. <laughs> and the pop star's hair on the oar will find out who is the winner tonight. Let's have a look. <laughs> no, it can't be! I refuse to believe it! It's not Lister! I'll tell you the middle of the stage, Victorious Reeves! You'll see, Reeves! You'll see, Reeves, you, you smug fop! <laughs> you see, Reeves, at the I end of the day, I prepared something for just this moment. <laughs> Victory is mine. You cannot deny the verdict of the ginger pop star's hair. <laughs> the truth is out, Reeves. No longer the smug get, eh? The quality has prevailed, and the voices in my head are silenced. <laughs> well, well, Graham, maybe I should concede. I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> All right, then, I do concede. And good luck to you. Well, um, why, I while you're I'm here... not friendly with doctors and dentists for no reason. Oh, <laughs> now, while you're here, why don't you give us Andy? I think you probably have All right, Andy. then. I'm going to see how fast a bit of bark goes. Why don't you take that... <laughs> that end... <laughs> go over at the other side of the stage. Just pull it quite taut. <laughs> why didn't you just say, pull the cord taut? Go and pull it, it I'll pull it taut. And we're going to see just how fast a bit of bark can go. I reckon we can get Mac one. <laughs> oh, there we are, then, you see. Oh, no! Well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, 
Dublin. Don't stay. Off you go. I'll be hearing from your Trump. I'll be hearing from your solicitor. Don't let me. My voices come back. You will be hearing from my solicitor. <laughs> well, there we are, lads and gentlemen. Graham Lister. <laughs> Well, it's the end of a series. Aww. And, uh, yes, well, we are currently the top television programme at the moment. <laughs> so why not finish with a top turn? Ladies and gentlemen, Nigel Kennedy. I'm going to do something out the your season's brochure. <laughs> Kill Bill. Noise, you know, I half expected it. I just had a little dream. I'd come and play a bit of nice classical music in front of the nice people, some of whom are pensioners. <laughs> just a little dream. You've shattered it. What can I say? Don't you have dreams, Vic? Nothing like that. Of course, that. I have dreams like any other man. Uh, I've got. Well, a... give us an example. Well, I've got, got a crazy, I've got a crazy, crazy dream. Oh yeah. It'll never come true. It might, you know. No, stick I'll... with it. Stick with it, me man. Well, I just dreamed that one day I'll, <laughs> I'll twiddle with the grease nipple on a bus. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> dream. Have you got there. any other dreams? Oh, I have dreams well oh, enough. Come on, come on, tell us what. Well, one in particular, which, uh, it, well, it won't come true. Really? You know. Mm. Now, how hard Come I on, ask. tell us what it is. Well, it's something that one day I'd like to see a little cherry on an ironing board. <laughs> you know, I knew you were going to say that. Oh, <laughs> Les! You haven't. Yes, it's the last you time I've had a bit of a treat here. Oh! It's a sprout! It's my worst nightmare, that! <laughs> oh, oh, really? Why, why, oh, why, why? Look, you are still wearing that wet shirt, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't let it dry, <laughs> would you? I would have let it dry. You wouldn't let it dry! I would have let it dry! I would have let it dry! Blimey, that smells great. What is it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm. This is Mortimer and Reeves meat product. Really? <laughs> yes, what? Mortimer and Reeves. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Songwriter 